What's up, X and YouTube? Matt A here. Today, we're going to take a look at Avowed and how it was delayed. I'm just now finding out about this, so maybe you are too, so I'm making the video about it today. Well, it was delayed until February. I think, let's go take a look. It was delayed until February 18th, 2025. And the reason that Xbox is saying is to give players some breathing room. So many games coming as such were moving about to February 18, 2025 to give players backlogs some breathing room. Okay, all right. We know about all of these coming out. Age of Mythology, Doom, Dark Ages, Fable, Towerborn, Shattered Space, Vessel of Hatred, Black Ops 6, a Warcraft expansion. Uh, what is that? Oh, yeah, South of Midnight. Yeah, the one where they're in the bayou. Yeah, I, I remember that one. Dark Ages. So they have all these games coming out. So it makes sense that they're delaying about to, you know, February 18th. But I also think it's because Obsidian wants to improve it and really get this right. I think Obsidian knows that this that this game is going to be a make or break for them going forward because this is their first. Well, I don't even know if it's AAA, but it kind of. This is their first major original IP game released ever. That's right, ever. If we look at Outer Worlds, that was independent. They were still an indie dev studio then. They were indie when they made Outer Worlds and that came out fantastic. I love the Outer Worlds. So I'm hoping everyone has very high expectations for Avowed. And so far the game is looking good and they are improving it, it looks better and better. When it first was announced, or we got a sneak peek at it, didn't look all that great, but the more time goes on, the more, the better it looks, right? The better it looks. So yes, I'm still excited for Avowed, and I understand why Xbox is doing this as well, because they wanna make sure that Avowed has the breathing room to be as successful as possible because they don't want that one of their biggest first party RPGs to flop. And if you're trying to release a vow between Call of Duty, you have uh, Doom, Indiana Jones and, and Diablo 4 Vessel of Hatred and Shattered Space. Are you kidding me? So I don't think the delay was actually hardware related. I don't think it was developmentally related, but I do think that Obsidian will take advantage of this because they love to develop. They love being de de developers at Obsidian. I have no doubt they're going to take advantage of this and improve Avowed even more. Even though they don't have to, they're going to add content that wasn't there before. They're going to add stuff that would have been DLC that wasn't there before. They're going to add a lot of stuff. Believe me, Obsidian loves their games. They love adding stuff. And it's not about financial gain for them, financial gain. They just want stability for the developers and they want to be a company and grow finally. They've been, they, they've been grinding at this for decades, right? So I don't think it has anything to do with the actual development. I think they will use it to their advantage and make it better. But I think Xbox is right. I mean, dude, when we look at this, we can pretty much, I mean, you could pretty much assume that they are right to do this, right? I mean, I mean, if you, how are you gonna, uh, you know, re release um, a vow between Call of Duty, Indiana Jones, Shattered Space? Like, you can't do that, right? You can't really release a vow that way. Now, let's take a look at some of the new footage from Gamescom. It's a little bit loud, so I have it on mute right now, but I will add some gameplay in to it. Because we see here, let's take a look. We have a bunch of skill trees going on, and you can see right here with abilities. We have a wizard. We have, you know, godlike companions, map. We have all kinds of stuff here. Fighter, ranger, character. Okay, so let's take a look here because there is something cool coming up. This looks pretty cool. We're actually in the water. We're swimming around. That animation looks pretty good, but let's see if we can find a full version of this. Let's go see, but this looks really, really good. I like the water effects. I'm glad you could swim. Now we know for a fact you can. So far, this game is shaping up to be great. I have no doubt that they're gonna use this extra time, this delay to add even more stuff to the game. It looks fantastic. I like that you can have the spell books, the guns, things like that. Let's take a look at some more gameplay. 
Let's see. IGN actually played through it a little bit. Let's go ahead and give that a listen. Let's see if they have some good quality gameplay on IGN. They have a very sketchy past with this stuff, but I want to take a look at it. I want to show you guys in video. Let's take a look. Let's get it all done. Avound was a surprising delight to play for the first time. After a lot of questions about the shift in art direction from the teaser trailer, questions about the length and a combat demo on the Xbox stage that had many asking if the game was earlier in development than expected. Okay, we don't I'm care about this. I'm happy to report that Avowed is feeling great. Note on this footage often does in an RP. So I'm very confused as to by Microsoft, so I'm going to have to do my best to get an Xbox event. Just a real quick note on this footage, all of it was provided by Microsoft, so I'm gonna have to do my best to edit this video while describing my own gameplay session, which looked really good, so I'm very confused as to why we weren't allowed to capture, but alas. All right, we're gonna take a look at some of this stuff. I'm gonna minimize myself because this is pretty interesting, all right? I haven't actually seen this before. Let's do it now. Let's get full, let's get full screen with this because this looks pretty cool. You can see the guns are already out, man. They already have the guns out. Capture, but alas. My journey began just after the opening main mission in Avowed, and we've been sent on a task to find an expedition team. It turns out, as it often does in RPGs, that fate had other plans for them. Kai, our green skin companion, who just happens to be voiced by Mass Effect's Garrus Vicarian actor, Brandon Keener, keeps things lighthearted with quips and remarks. That's awesome. We got Better a flood than a cave-in. The banter is welcome and sparse as he only chimes in occasionally to make a quip, like when I pause to admire the view. The bridge is out, but that looks like the way to the relic. And the view is very pretty. Avout has done a great job leaning into the art style the larger Pillars of Eternity series is known for and had me stopping to admire waterfalls in the distance and moss-covered structures. All right, let's take a look at the tone. combat, right? I think we're good with that. In the depths of the Oceanic Cave, I had to swim through it only to find myself facing off against the Zara, which I probably pronounced incorrectly. But these are lizard-like creatures with your standard human weapons like swords, shields, and bows, and they make for good fodder as you learn your beginning attacks. That looks good. That feels very weighted. Did you see that? This looks pretty weighted to me. This looks pretty weighted. I like the way this looks. That looks weighted. You can feel that little hit right there. Yeah, you can definitely feel that. Health, but more importantly, your essence, which allows the execution of your most powerful attacks. As the Barbarian, I found myself stalking spiders in the caverns and plotting my attack. To begin, I used Kai's ability Fire and Ice via the radial wheel you access by holding down the left bumper, if you're playing with a gamepad obviously. Fire and Ice sees Kai teleport to the target and Dude, this looks a so good. bullet into the spider's face. Then I command him to use his area of effect attack, Leaf of Daring, that has him slam into the ground and briefly stun everyone around him. During that time, oh, I like I this in the gap, and as I was using two weapons, I first charged up my right handed axe, which offers a powerful damn, this looks good, bro damage accumulation to nearby enemies. After holding the right trigger to empower this attack, I managed to freeze my opponent just for a moment. Then I unleash more powerful essence abilities. First, I shout to push back the smaller spider. Let's get the gun slowly surrounding me. And while stunned, I then select charge and ram my body with force into the biggest guy in the room, uh, spider. Then I follow it up with a flurry of blows with the left trigger, which holds my nimble sword for a flurry of strikes that results in the dispatch of the last spider standing in the room. Later, I would return as a mage, which was described as the most difficult of the three classes available to use. Abilities for this character included an Holy staff shit. that could materialize with essence, or projectiles that you could track your target with, and standard attacks that had you flicking your wand to and fro while the smaller spells came out of the tip, damaging your target. Additional essence abilities included a spear that was a bit faster than the staff, as you'd expect, and several different projection or buff spells to help your hits land with a bit harder thud. One press, you could access a significantly different playstyle. Holy Combat shit, so dude, it looks so good! And had a depth I didn't expect. I can't wait to dive into it more. 
And fortunately, the oomph your attack animations that many felt were missing from a demo on the Xbox stage earlier this year have seemingly been implemented. Enemies react how you'd expect them to when you slam them with a sword. Or oh, that's so good, man. This is so good. This is looking so good right now. Ah, uh, man, I am glad I took a look at this gameplay because that looks good, man. Those animations hit, dude. It was the animations hit. I love that the, the axes and the, the battle combat, the flashiness, the magic powers really impressed me. Like, they really improved this game. I told you, man, people were doubting Obsidian. Obsidian has never made a bad game. They never will. This game will be incredible. And you saw that we have the guns with the lightning. We have the spell book and the spells and we have the swords and the axes. We have the abilities. So I couldn't be more excited for this game. And we have Gareth Vakarian back. Oh, it's so good to have him back. I just love hearing his voice. I'm going to think about Gareth the entire time I'm playing. And we saw the companions were really good. They were really well done. And it did remind me a lot of Mass Effect. So they did take inspiration from that. Dude, this game looks good, man. This game looks good. I told you all, don't doubt it, man. Don't doubt Avowed. Don't doubt Obsidian. Don't doubt Obsidian. That's the video. Thanks for liking and subscribing. I'll see you next time.